Hello, welcome back to another game on Arena 2v2 this time. And why am I casting this game? Because Nikov sent a message to Neely on Neely's stream uh, talking about exactly this game. Not sure why, but it's a 2v2 between like pretty much NC. I'll be 10 playing here as the Spanish and Neely who has joined the Heresy clan, but pretty much could be counted as an NC player uh, playing here in red as the Indians against two Argentinian players. Apparently, I'm not sure. I don't know who Batumi is, to be honest. 1892 team game rating, he must be a decent player here. And then in, in blue, Nikov, uh, aforementioned, who was messaging Neely. Nikov is Teutons, Batumi Chinese. Could be interesting. And Neely is facing Batumi here. We have LB10 playing against Nikov pretty much on the two flanks. Let's go over the maps quickly and see what the game is about then and how this is actually going to end. Look at this, this is already a beautiful spot for a lumber camp. I hope Neely is going for that one. Let's find out. We have the main gold on the side. Ooh, towards the front here, actually, towards Batumi. We have the main stone, four British as well, two boars inside, second stone safe in the back, and walled in, which is nice. And the deer are closed, but outside, this is probably his third gold, second gold. No, actually, second and third gold forward here. Oh, this must be LB 10's gold, and this one too. And this is an extra gold, actually. Am I correct here? Yeah, yes, apparently so. We have also uh, a third gold um, to the front for Batumi here. Extra stone, second stone forward. Second gold inside, actually, main stone forward. Yeah, that's not the best map ever, I guess. With the main gold, pretty safe, actually. Do we have gear inside for the Chinese player for Batumi? No, but extra berries, which you could use later on. Could wall here if you need to. And he should be able to lure the deer in without too many problems. So he will be fine with the Chinese star here. Nearly what else there is to see. One very close to this base, but that's pretty much it. So um, Indians for Neely should be interesting. And pretty decent late game sif, I guess, in a 2v2 especially. Not sure what they can do in Castle Age. Are we going to see some aggressive player with Knights, for example? Don't know. We've seen a lot of Batumis, ma'am. Anything else there is to know? That the three deer close? No, I think we've pretty much covered everything there is. Uh, let's move on to Nico. First, a third gold or second gold on the left hand side. I guess it's the third gold here with the relic close to his base. We have the main gold forward, which is the second gold forward. Close to the walls here, could wall this off if you needed to. Um, that's an extra stone as well, there's a lot of extra resources here actually. Main stone, save for the back. Or is it a second stone for Nikov? No, actually a second stone forward outside, deer outside and forward. Not a big problem here. And we have, last but not least, MBL as Spanish. This should be interesting. Spanish conquistadors and castage are really strong. LB10 is starting to lure his deer in from outside, from the front. Main gold forward, main stone forward, not too nice for him. In the back, there is two sheep that LB10 is missing. You can see them, so he will be able to get them later on. What else do we have? Actually, the map is really not looking too good. Second gold outside, third gold pretty far away outside. And missing a second stone. This is forward as well. So LB10's map is really not the best uh, you can have and we are going to find out how uh, LB is going to play this. I guess he wants to go for a castle, he'll go for conquistadors and early cast late. But Nikov is doing loom at 6 minutes and that's usually an indication uh, indicator for 464. Is he going to? Yeah, look at this. A lot of villagers on the board. I think this is going to be a tower rush here with the Teutons, which makes sense of course. Cheaper farms, 10 villagers and a tower. That uh, can be fun here. What else do we have? Actually, nearly nothing special as far as I can see. First farm coming up. And the Chinese player here, but to me, going for the deer outside. He's not luring them in. Maybe he's going for an extra mill here. I think it makes sense. Yeah, the mill is coming up, so you can see here, uh, mill on the extra berries and taking the deer, so he doesn't need to lure them in. He is keeping a scout around, maybe to protect the villagers, but he should have looms, so it's not a big problem. And Nikov is halfway to feudal age. How many villagers on stone? He's moving now with four of them. There is no wolves in the back bases here, I think, so it will be fine. And oh, look at this, this is amazing. Eight villagers moving out. So now it's only five? Is it eight? Is it five? Wolf moving out, but Nikov, of course, did do the loom upgrade so these villagers um, won't take too much damage and looks like Albiton might be able to spot this let's switch to his point of view 
Will you be able to see the uh, trash from Nikov? Oh, nice try, but the deer is staying outside. And now Feudal Age is coming up while uh, LB10 is actually trapping a villager inside that main goal. Sending three villagers to take the main stone here. Loom coming in immediately for both Neely and LB10. And there is a villager being attacked by a boar, so uh, LB10 now knows. Okay, Watchtower coming up from Nikov. Also, a little bit of a scout fight here. But shouldn't. Yeah, Nikov has 3 plus 2 attack. Of course, he's going to win this. And there is four or five villagers building the tower. Mm, plus four. That's four villagers. Plus four villagers attacking the walls. Only 900 HP. This is going down really fast. And we're going to see up to eight villagers in one tower here. LB10 clicked up to Feudal Age. Same time as Needy. Same population. Except for the one dead scout here. And Needy won't get trashed here. But he might need to help LB10 if Nikov's trash is successful here. And Nikov is going in. So let's switch again and see what does Nikov know about the map. He can see the main goal. He can see one the at mining camp and now knows why. And on the watchtower coming up, the uh, TC is out of range, or maybe not. Actually, this farm could get attacked by the watchtower. And Elviton is still waiting, going with the palisade gate here, sending the villagers back from the stone. This is not the best idea ever, but he's got enough for two towers at least, and he needs to put up towers. This is actually dangerous, but the first three here can get cut down. And Nikov is moving forward, unstoppable with those villagers' watchtowers. Also, walling in the watchtowers here makes sense. And we're going to see LB10 with a watchtower close to the mill. Wants to make sure that Nikov cannot move into the back of his base. But there is a lot of nothing here. So LB10 actually in a really, really diffi uh, difficult spot. He is doing horse color double bidex. He is gonna stay in castle age for a long time. Nikov probably will be faster here. Now we have that watchtower fight with two scouts. Nikov's and Batum is attacking the watchtower. Yeah, Elbiton needs to take down Nikov's scout for sure. That's what is a good idea. And the uh, Teuton's towers without fletching, but more villagers inside. They are stronger. Now a second tower coming up behind that. Elbiton might get a sling later on. Not sure if it's happening already. In the meantime, Nili and Batumi are both on the way to the castle age really just in case walling that corner to make sure that there is no tower hop coming in he didn't find two of his sheep which is a mistake here but okay it's 2v2 on arena so i don't really know a lot about it double watchtower now from nikov has seven villagers inside the one watchtower the last villager probably got taken down or did he did she walk back i don't see it now and the scout from batumi going in to give nikov a little bit more information here but now you can see idle village from LB is not looking good and that's seven of them plus five in the watchtower and Nikov should be able to repair his watchtowers while uh, LB10 hey, is on stone okay for villagers very important to see so he's got more stone coming up and he probably needs it to repair and build new towers should also maybe try and go for some stone walls here but he is completely out of control he cannot take gold he can take the main stone at least an outpost coming up here looks like Nikov is sending more villagers now interesting what is Nikov's plan he's got six farms will he be able to go up to castle age anytime soon I don't think so sending eight villagers is a lot of an investment here and you can see now he's walling in the watchtowers and probably where is he sending villagers yeah going to that main stone this is so important and this is deadly LB10 needs to get his watchtower up he needs to fight this actually he needed to like wall those villagers in maybe but it's also easy to say and now Nikov uh, is having fun here he is sending the villagers to attack that tower LB10 is in big big trouble look at this this is just amazing Teuton's trash on arena in the meantime LB10 uh, partner here teammate we have Neely as the Indians with the villager for probably wants to go for a siege workshop or is it just for the blacksmith here. It's happening. TC coming up mm, on the wood line. That makes sense nearly. Uh, another TC somewhere. Yes, on the main gold. Let's go back to LB10 space. Yeah, look at this. This is just domination and there is still no fletching on those watchtowers. Finally coming up. Another watchtower coming up a little bit more forward. Nikov has how many villages around? That's at least nine and plus one. So ten villages forward. Uh, building watchtowers. Harassing LB10 space and LB going to the market now. So resources looking actually quite 
decent, but doesn't have a lot of gold here. And Town Rush now coming in. What can Elbiton see? He can see that it doesn't stand a chance against this Tower Rush for now, at least. And doesn't really know what to do. He moved out with a villager to take gold. This is so important. Got a house here to prevent any hops, but not a big uh, problem here for Nikov. He's inside already. And now Elbiton is sending more villagers out. And Nikov should be able to see it. He could, in theory. But the question is, will he be able to spot it? He's concentrating on the middle and probably trying to fix the economy at home. He is on 266 food. Not a lot here. So he wants to stay in field ledge for a little bit longer. Could he see the villagers migrating? I'm not sure about it. If those villagers can escape without, uh, uh, unspotted, then LB10 has a decent chance to survive in this game and make it, maybe come back later on. The problem is there's more and more and more watchtowers coming up. Uh, what is Neely going to do? Siege workshop forward, Manganel coming out. We have a town center forward for Batumi on the boot line, one TC up on the main goal, and another TC in the town center. That's a 4TC boom. And that's it. And that's Maybe not the best idea in this team game. Uh, should have scouted a little bit, but he lost the scout. So Neely is going to start and attack this TC, provided he can see it, but he's just attacking the walls. Needs to use the scout, go forward and spot that TC probably. Uh, Batumi knows what's up, and Batumi needs to go for a siege workshop immediately, or he should at least. Uh, is Xing now, I guess. Not sure about this, uh, if this is helping, because Nikov is still having fun in LB10 space. LB is taking a lot of gold here, and uh, Nikov, where did he put the villagers? Seven villagers in the watchtower. Did he lose any? And KD, 96. So I guess he lost a few villagers here. That's not a big problem. And this watchtower from LB10 is getting repaired now. Both towers have left. And of course, the tower from the Teutons player here is stronger with some villagers inside. And actually, look at this. Neely using a camel to attack the watchtower outside. Uh, but Toomey actually has a scout alive. I didn't see that. I think that's an initial scout. I don't see a barracks stable here. Uh, Siege workshop and university coming up. The TC is getting attacked now. Makes sense. And Nikov is going with the market. He is on, on gold now and he will be able to buy his way up to Castle Age. This is huge. LB10, not too close to clicking up. He's got enough stone for a watchtower if he's not. Uh, continuing to repair, but he needs to pretty much. This watchtower is... Oh, yeah! Oh, look at this! Nearly uh, uh, Elbiton finally deciding to get rid of those towers on the left-hand side. This is a very good idea. They are only evolved towards the, the back here, but uh, they could get attacked here. Nikov, though, clicking up to Castle Age first, and LB needs a little bit longer. We have Nearly with Monastery now up, trying to get some of those relics in. But it's not doing too much damage, and that one Manganel is probably making sure that Nearly cannot st uh, continue the attack here without investing into army. Also, LB10 sending villagers to the main stone, which makes sense. Uh, I saw that he got stone, I didn't see where, but it was pretty clear that there wasn't nearly space. And what now? LB10 pretty much stopped the uh, aggressive play from Nikov now, or we could say Nikov slowed down a little bit. But uh, Nikov probably will continue the push with, I'm guessing, Gartow upgrade or maybe even a forward castle. This is possible, he's got enough stone almost for that. And a forward castle on LB, who is still not upping to castle age, could be so deadly. And uh, Nikov has enough villages around. LB10 doesn't have any military units whatsoever. And there's so many towers to protect the uh, villages building a castle. He could basically build it like here, take down the uh, TC and then be done with it. But uh, this game is not over and LB and Neely are trying their best. There's a lead now. Probably due to the population, I don't know. But now Nikov is up to castle age, and what is he going to do? What are we, are we going to see here? Boatkin arrow, probably, or possibly. Let's check. We have Nikov with the castle coming up. Yes, exactly. On the main TC. There's a watchtower against this from the Spanish. Spanish building faster, but this castle should not be denied, even uh, though the watchtower is going to be up fast. You can see 50% against the watchtower, probably on 80-90% now. Can Nikov get that castle up? If not, that would be a huge mistake in my opinion. This is not going to be a real doubt castle. There's a few, maybe two or three villagers going down potentially, but this castle is on 83%. There's enough villagers around to finish it, and and I think Nikov will be able to take it down. Elbiton is trying his best to attack as many villagers as possible. Nikov even deleting his own towers to have more space. And that castle is going up. And Elbiton is in trouble. At least he's got some villagers out. And the problem is Neely, he's got a decent boom, I guess. But 78 against 91 villagers from Batumi. He should either be able to put up uh, put pressure or go for a faster boom here with the Indians against Chinese. That's my opinion, at least. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Neely though is on the way to Imperial Age, but so is Batumi. We're going to see a big fight on the left. And we might see LB10 losing a lot more population here. He is sending the villages out now. He is also going for a gate here just in case. Nikov is sending the villages back to build a TC on the wood line in the main stone, which I like to see. And the TC is up on the wood line here in the back. A few idols for Nikov. Mistake here. What is Neely doing? He is going for fletching. The pikemen are moving out in ramps. Are we going to see what here with the Indians? Camels possible, but not against Chinese. I guess a castle coming up. Uh, Boat can arrow, elite skirmishes maybe, which is a poor decision because it's a... Uh, who did call that a non-quality unit? I guess it's really not the thing you want to go for. But what is Neelix's plan here? Elephants, potentially. <laughs> I would love to see them, but it's pretty unlikely. Uh, then again, I don't see a... Mm, barracks is up, but no, and one stable, but nothing else. So what is Neelix's plan here? He's got a lot of resources on the bank, he's not using them. Bracer, Padded Archer Armor. Is he actually trying to up for the uh, Elephant Archers here? I mean, it's a fun game, so why not try it? The Tomb is doing Onager, so he's playing rather serious, I guess. Double Siege Workshop coming up forward. That castle is up. Elite Elephant Archer on the way, but nearly only with one castle. That's not enough at this point. And the castle from Nikov producing Teutonic Knights now. Ooh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Teutonic Knights moving out, trying to maybe attack a few villagers. That's 12 attack on an 80 HP infantry unit. It's slow, but it can do the damage. Mm, LB is up to Castle Age. Put a TC here. Putting another TC on that uh, gold on the outside. He's still on stone. What is LB doing with all the stone? I guess he repaired some towers. And what else are we going to see? Not a lot, apparently, because now the action is on the left where a lot of pikemen, soon to be LB here, are trying to attack with the scap rams moving forward, getting rid of those houses on that forward, actually. Did Needy save his relics? Yeah, I guess he's got a monastery at home. There it is. Good for him. Uh, I think there was a forward monastery as well. A few idle villages here for Neely. And the Elite Battle of an Elephant Archer production is starting, but the creation time is rather high here. And what is Neely going to do? After chemistry, I guess we're going to see Bombard Cannons as well. They might will be decent against the Onagers. Okay-ish, potentially against the Helvetias. I think we need Hand Cannons for Neely. Then he will be fine, but he needs a lot of gold for that. What is Nikov doing? Is he happily booming at home? 67 villagers, that's one, two, three TCs at home, plus one TC forward on that stone. The village is moving now to maybe get the main gold here, or what is Nikov going to do? He's got enough uh, resources for a TC or for mining camp or whatever, he's doing uni university now. Where's the Teutonic Knight going? I guess it went down, potentially, don't know. And on the other side, a quick gates coming up, but there is five cap rams. Habit is moving forward, and Neely is using the villagers to attack the cap rams. That's pretty much needed. Two, three bombard cannons, but uh, there's too many military units for Batumi here. He did a nice boom, and now he's using a pretty decent combination against what Neely is trying to put up here. Elite elephant archer, 330 HP, but there's only like three or four of them. That's not gonna be enough. The castle. Might go down here. Five, six, seven cap drums remaining, and a lot of helmets to back them up. This is not good. Garto finally coming in for Nikov. A little bit late, but he managed to take down the TC from LB10. Also trying to go in here, and LB got a TC on the outside. Maybe we should have put it a little bit more to the left here, because Nikov might be able to spot it. Can you see it? No, not yet. Garto, 8 plus 2 range. Elite skirmishes now for Neely actually happening. This is never a good sign. The castle went down. Neely spent a lot of resources on the elite upgrade and cannot produce any elephant archers yeah pretty funny game in my opinion but i guess it's gonna be over soon because how do you stop nikov and batumi now batumi 6k score against nearly 6k but i feel like uh, batumi has the momentum going he's going for c tram now which need a bit of a hard time against and potentially chukunu i hope to see them because chukunu might be the nail on the coffin is that the saying i think it is we have a few helpers now on Nikov's side as well, just in case, or maybe to try and um, assist Nikov and killing LB10. Let's be honest, that's pretty much what you need to call it. And Nikov is on the way to Imperial Age. LB10 is trying to boom up 65 villagers, but Nikov on 99. And look at the population. That's a big difference now. Both Argentinian players over 100 pop, and the sea trams moving forward. Uh, one Wong to heal a few battle, uh, elite elephant archers. Okay, that's nice. LB doing Garta upgrade now. This is help actually, Manganels pushing moving forward and there is more guard towers coming up. Both players having the guard tower upgrade now. But Castle is pretty much dominating LB10's uh, original base. LB10, though, not getting spotted outside, and this is interesting. Thing is, Neely will have a hard time to push back here. Elite Skirmishers fully upgraded, I guess. Yeah, looking fine. 
And needle doing his conscription now, going with another castle to cover this gold. He needs that gold pretty much. But Batumi is still 31 against 25 military units. Those elite elephant archers. 3 plus 6 pierce armor is huge, of course, but the helmet is will be fine. And now wheelbarrow heavy plow gold mining. Nikov doing a lot of economy upgrades. Still having fun here, I feel. Uh, let's go to like 81 uh, speed now. Of course, on the left hand side, this is pretty much a 1v1 in mid Imperial Age, and on the right hand side, uh, more or less a Castle Age fight here. Now, Imperial Age for Nikov soon to be done, and we have Neely moving out actually with Elite Skirmishes and Elephant Archers. The help is going in, and Honor just assisting here. The Siege Rams trying to do the damage. Nikov is up to him. Chemistry coming in immediately. Wants to go for Bombard Cannons potentially. I think the two Siege Workshop that makes sense. And what is LV10 going to do except for maybe click up to but then what? Doesn't have a castle. Archer range is coming up against... Yeah, I don't know what the plan is with the archer ranges. Hand cannoneers? Maybe? Wait, we are in Spanish. Hand cannons is possible. But... Uh, it, because I don't want to see elite skirmishes from the Spanish here. Paladins would have been awesome, but with what gold? Nikov is taking the gold. Only two villages now, but still. And Elbiton is actually trying to help out now a little bit. And uh, is getting help, sorry. Neely is trying to help. Taking down that siege workshop and uh, a ram actually on the guard tower. So Nikov's tower rush is finally stopped, but the castle is still standing. And on the left hand side, Neely is getting pushed back by those halberdiers on it just behind that siege rams. I want to see the Chikunu. I'm a little disappointed that we aren't going to see them initially. They are so damn strong, and I would like to see them against the elite elephant archers. But of course, with another amount of elite elephant archers, Neely has a decent defense here. And even the siege rams will go down over time the helmet is can do quite some damage but there's monks around to heal what is Nikov doing in the meantime? Moving to the middle, going with Siege Workshops, Onager upgrade done, uh, Pikeman upgrade done, so we're seeing pretty much the same armies from Nikov and Batumi here and are we going to see elite skirmishers from LB and Neely? What the hell is going on in this game? Siege on a trap though coming in, Nikov is on 146 villagers total and Siege on a trap might be so pretty damn deadly to all those units, to all those ranged units here. Whereas Nikov's on a chest, I'm just waiting for those to um, join the attack, join the uh, fight on the left hand side. LB10 is going with skirmishers, one military unit, total of one, and he had a pretty hard time, so I don't really blame him. And now there's a ram with what is inside that ram? Is there four villagers? So pretty much nothing. We have Nikov now moving forward with the Onagers, soon to be Siege Onagers. Uh, Teutons can get the Ironclad upgrade, that would be awesome to see, but it's not happening yet. Siege Engineer is still very important. And the Siege Onager upgrade finished. Now these houses, will, uh, these buildings will go down fast, the Elite Skirmishers will be in a lot of trouble and Neely is losing more, more ground. I think if he had finished the castle it went down again. There is one castle inside his base but Sea Tramps moving forward. There's not enough uh, supporting units for to me here and but lb10 is calling the chi chi because he's getting attacked now in the middle and he doesn't have a chance to come back at this point this is a very funny game to see and to watch crenellations even coming in from nikov neely probably tried his best to get a decent army out the elephant archers was a Okay, choice, I guess. Was fun to see, was nice to see. But in the end, the tower rush on LB10 with a really, really, really bad map uh, decided the game early on. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next games. GG.